So what do you got? Seven-year-old male fell from a three-story window. Vitals are surprisingly okay. All we found were a bunch of cuts and bruises, and he possibly broke his right arm and leg. Someone who's fallen from a height can have very serious injuries. That's usually they're gonna have broken pelvis, internal bleeding. They could die. Hey, buddy, what's your name? Tony, Doc. My leg is killing me over here. My arm, too. Cut off all his clothes so I can get a good exam. You don't need to cut off his clothes, Doc. He's already naked. Whoa, so he is. Yeah. Do you have a family member we could contact in case something happens? So, uh, Tony, you married? Yeah, it's true. But I don't know her cell number. This case is starting to intrigue me. It's a case of failure to fly, but there's definitely more going on. This guy's hiding something. Great news, Tony. I was able to find you in our computer system from a previous visit. I found your wife's phone number as the emergency contact. He didn't seem so concerned about his breaks. He seemed much more concerned about his wife coming to visit him. Tony! Tony, where is he? Tony! What happened to you? I go away for a couple of days and you're in the hospital? I'm fine though, baby, I'm fine. How was your trip? How can you be fine? Look at you. I wanted to clean the place up because I knew you were coming home today. I decided to clean the windows, but I must have leaned out a little bit too far, and next thing you know, I got a couple of gas. Crazy, right? You were cleaning the windows? 17 years of marriage, and you never put away a dirty dish, let alone cleaned the window. Hey, Doc, a detective's here, wants to ask some questions. Can I send him in? It's not unusual at all for the police to be called to the scene of a trauma. Anytime someone falls out of a window, the police will be called, just to make sure there's nothing unusual going on. You're the gentleman who fell out of the window? Your neighbors called us when they heard screaming from the bushes. Then they went on to describe a naked man trying to crawl back into the entrance of the building. Why were you naked? It was hot out. Sir, our officers didn't find any cleaning supplies by the windows or on the ground. In fact, they're saying that it appears around the window area there was a scuffle. What? What happened there? I can explain. What the hell were you doing up there, you son of a Were you with another woman? You were with another woman? Were you with another woman? Are you kidding me? So now it's complete chaos. His wife is now hitting him. He is screaming bloody murder. He's asking, he's screaming for me to save him. I have no desire to get in the middle of this one because I'm thinking she's going to hit me. Oh, Doc. Doc, my chest. I think I'm having a heart attack. Doc, he's Doc, clutching Doc. his chest, screaming he's having a heart attack. I can't tell if he's actually having a heart attack. Mike, let's get a stat EKG. Yo, Tony, looks like you're having a heart attack. It's important you tell me what happened to you today. Were you using any drugs? Drugs? No. The problem is that if he's been using certain drugs, those can interact with the medications I'm going to use. Depending on what drugs you may have used, they can interact with the medications we use in a heart attack and make things a lot worse. So it's important that you tell me the entire story. OK. So the wife goes out of town to visit her sister. I invite a friend over. You know what I mean? And we have some drinks and we do a little blow, and I took one of those erection pills. And that's it. That's all it took. If I give you anything else, it's gonna interact with the drugs you took and make things worse. So aspirin, that's all I can give you. All right, am I gonna live, Doc? Yeah, you're gonna live. And hopefully you'll live to make better choices. 